Hey everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, a lens distortion called vignetting. We all use vignetting from time to time um, to draw focus to our subject, at, kind of use it as a um, creative tool. Um, but that's not the kind of vignetting that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the the distortion um, that comes from your lens. And sometimes this happens with lower level lenses, but it can also happen with um, nice lenses. For example, this picture I took um, has a considerable amount of vignetting, and I noticed that this happens um, many times when the light is low um, and also when I am underexposing an image. So I wanna show you how to correct this problem. Um, at the end, I'll talk to you guys about an action that I've written for you that'll be free today. Um, but for now, I want to just go ahead and show you how to um, fix this problem. You can see the before and the after here. This is before and this is after. Um, what I'm going to do first is go ahead and duplicate my background layer by right-clicking um, on the background layer or uh, pressing control click. Duplicate layer. Just press OK. Um, if you want to rename it, you can um, just na name it Lens Distortion Correction. Um, the action does not include duplicating the background layer, so just make sure that you do that before you run the action. Um, the next thing I'm going to do after I have duplicated the background layer is go to Filter, Lens Correction. And today I'm working in the latest version of Photoshop Creative Cloud. Um, this will um, apply to earlier versions of Photoshop as well. Um, before 6, I'm not sure, but um, I'm very sure that 6 and above will include this technology. Okay, so um, you can see that there's two tabs here, Auto Correction and Custom. I would stay away from the Auto Correction unless you just want a little bit of help. Um, I would just go for the Custom tab, go down, and you'll save, see this little vignette box here. What I want to do is drag the slider right to lighten the vignette and watch the image. Now if you go all the way up you can see what it's doing. Um, you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to the midpoint, drag it up. That's too much. Drag it back just until I feel like it's right. Okay, I'm just going to press OK. And you can see that it has corrected the vignetting. Okay, so with that said, I um, have created an action for you guys to automate this process. I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. Um, the first thing that I want you to do is just duplicate your background layer. Then you'll find the MLC Correct Camera Distortion Vignette Action and press play and you can see that this will um, correct that vignette for you. So this action definitely works in Photoshop Creative Cloud and it definitely works in Photoshop Elements 12 and 13. Um, you can find this free action and all of our other products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. Thanks guys.